My name is Fausto Fernandez, and I am originally from El Paso, Texas. I never lived in El Paso, Texas. I just lived across the border in Juarez, Mexico. And I grew up in Juarez, Mexico for 25 years. I mean, living on the border, you just kind of cross back and forth. I grew up in both cultures. I didn't learn English until I was 22. But I think it's a common story that a lot of the artists that I know in my generation, we were all skateboarding. We all kind of just drew these designs on the grip tape. And I think that's where the creativity started for me, thinking about art. And so as an adult, when I went to college, I wanted to study art and I wanted to be a graphic designer. My minor was painting. Over time, I was enjoying painting more than I was enjoying graphic design. So by the time I finished my BFA, I, I was just not passionate about it. When I was in college, graphic design was also all paper and it was the drawing and exacto knives and I started applying those things that I loved about graphic design into my work. I've always still used cutout materials and scissors and glue and applying things and I've always enjoyed that part of it. I think what I'd like other people to see is that I'm not afraid to change my work. There's going to be moments where it's really successful, visually maybe, and people love my paintings at times and they want to buy them, but ultimately it's not about money and it's just about the challenge of creating something different. It could be better. It could be worse, but I think what I'd like people to see is that I have never was afraid of changing. Don't want to get stuck and stagnant and creating the same art, visual story. That's my challenge. My work has never been specifically about my background, where I'm from, either Mexican or American. I feel proud that I'm from there but I also feel proud that I want to grow as a contemporary artist. And as a contemporary artist, I don't like to be pigeonholed into my background necessarily. So Chico, they allow me to participate as a, as a Mexican-American into their organization and they support me. And I feel like that's how I feel that I'm part of their circle of artists, you know, because we're all kind of a mix of Latino, Mexican, Native Americans. And I think that's what we all have in common. They're doing an incredible job. I legitimately feel that of all the arts organizations in Phoenix, Chico is the one that's doing the most for the artists. Their system is incredible. They ask artists to come and do prints. They pay for the materials. They let us keep half or more of the artwork that we make, and then they sell what they keep. So it's a win-win for both, and then they still manage to make money for the foundation. All they ask is for our talent and to help them, and in return, they've always helped us. I mean, they've grown from this little tiny place and they're doing so much and they're growing so fast. I want to thank Chico for helping me in becoming part of this community and giving me all their opportunities that they invited me for, that they're always thinking about me and I'm always willing to help them back in whatever they need. I think it's important that we're all part of a community of artists and organizations that we all make this a more interesting place to live.